Hello everyone, this is Jeff Smith, and I'm here today to show you the modeler in SQL Developer Web. In a previous video, I showed you our worksheet and gave a brief demo, just in case you missed that. Let's do something very quick. Uh, the worksheet here is much like you would expect uh, from your experience in SQL Developer on the desktop. Many of the same features and keyboard shortcuts are there. Let's see, greater than one, so control enter. We'll run this query. I have my results. And I can export this to CSV. And that'll generate the file. And once it's in Excel, the business can continue humming along. Okay. So I don't want to talk about the worksheet today. I want to talk about the data modeler. So I'm going to click on the data modeler tab here. So, the data modeler is for showing you a visual representation and getting you data dictionary information on what's already in your schema. The desktop version of data modeler does the same thing, but it also allows you to create new objects, uh, to design those objects. And when you're creating and designing the objects in the modeler on the desktop, that's all happening just in the confines of the modeling software. There's nothing going on in the database. Uh, if I use the modeler or SQL Developer Web here to create a table, that, that's creating a table in the database. So when we're working with uh, designs or diagrams in the data modeler, what we're saying is basically just reverse engineer for me what's already live in my schema. All right, so we're here in a, a blank instance. Uh, I've got a diagram with nothing in it. Let's um, let's get started. So if I had saved any diagrams, they'd be listed over here on the left. I'm a first time user, so I have nothing. The easiest way to get started is to switch to the navigator page. And let's find a driving table. Uh, let's do departments. I can right click and say, let's add that to um, the diagram with its dependencies. So it's gonna walk the dependency tree, look at the foreign key, constraints and say grab grab the things that are related and it's done that so I've got job history employees departments and locations I know that locations is related to countries and I can drag and drop countries over here and I also know that I've got regions All right. So I don't like how this has been laid out. I can I can change it any which way I want. Do, 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 do. As I drag the object around, I can see the lines moving around. And I can add elbows. And elbows are nice if you want to um, not have the lines intersect other objects on the diagram. So if I had employee or locations here and countries here I wouldn't want a straight line from here to there. I can I can use the elbow. All right, so let's see what else we can do. As I select these objects, I get the information for them on the right. So my locations table is selected, and I can get information on the columns. I can see the keys. Comments are nice too, if there are any. Uh, the column comments would be here as well if they had any, but bad bad designer. I can also change the color for this table. So locations is the the main story here. I want I don't know, purple or something. Looks like a blue. Alright. Uh, I can add notes. Size this. Uh, 
this is my HR schema added on 511. Oh, Got to be nice for the Europeans. Uh, May 11, 2018. Over there in Europe, they say 11 May. There we go. Apply. All right. Now, I can off I have a really big diagram. We're going to pretend this is a really big diagram. I have the thumbnail viewer over here, so I can use that to zoom around and see what's what. I didn't show this. You can resize these objects as well. And I can generate the DDL. So I've got this object selected. DDL preview. Here's the DDL behind this object. And if you don't want to see all this stuff, you can hit the options button, turn some of those uh, DDL shapes off. And I can send this to the worksheet if I want. That would be a SQL worksheet in SQL Developer Web. If I click uh, this button, it'll grab me the DDL for everything in the schema. Uh, if I click this, uh, it'll give me a data dictionary report for everything in the schema. And if I click this, it'll give me a diagram report. So a data dictionary report for everything I've put in the diagram. There we go. If we go back to SQL Developer Web, let's save this design. I don't want to have to ever do this again. This is going to get saved in the database in a special table in your schema. Save button. Yep. It should auto save as you make changes as well. And you can back changes in and out. Uh, this button is nice too. So, this diagram that we've built, I can export out as an SVG. And go share this with someone else. WYSIWYG, just as I'd build it in uh, SQL Developer Web, it's now in this file that I can share with others that don't have access to my cloud account. All right, so back here on this diagrams page, uh, I want to show you the search feature. And to do that first, I need to create a new diagram. So let's create a new diagram. And let's just put this in it. And let's save this objects and this is a local one-time copy of it looks like all objects okay now back over to my diagrams let's pretend we don't have two diagrams let's pretend we have 47 diagrams I want to look for the diagram that I need so I'm just going to type in um, let's type imp I think that'll do it Yep, and it knows that this is the schema that we want because there's an object in here that has that text in it. I'm going to come back and search for object. It finds this diagram because it has a table in there with that object text in it. So I think that's quite nice. Now also, it's got... Let's take this search out. As I click these diagrams, you get a nice thumbnail. I think that's uh, wicked cool as well. All right, everyone, that's uh, the demonstration today in the data modeler. Uh, we've got more in here than just what I've shown you. Um, you can create new objects from here as well, but remember, they go in your database. So I can add a new table from here as well, or add a sequence, or add an index. Good stuff. That's in the SQL Worksheet uh, Navigator as well. And that'll be something to show for a future demo. Thanks, everyone, and uh, happy SQL diving out there.